Hey team, Grant Hagen here with Drone Deploy back with, this is the best crew of the day here. Look at this, we have all of our product managers, minus one, uh, which we'll talk about at the end here, but we just released some exciting things here in Q4 for our product releases. And we just thought the best way to reach out and share that some of that info with you guys was to bring all these on. So uh, Marissa, Olivia, Andre, Hunter, and then Andy, who's not with us here, we are going to just go through and talk a little bit about all the fun, exciting things that just came out here in Q4. Uh, we just got done with our Drone Deploy user conference, which hopefully some of you got to meet uh, these individuals there. But team, really excited that you're here with us. And uh, let's dive right into it. So I'm going to kick it over to Marissa uh, to talk about uh, some of the exciting things that just came out on the flight side for the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And so Marissa, take it away. I'm sure you've already been following, but in the past couple of weeks, DJI has announced their latest enterprise drone, the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And so we're really excited to start our beta program for that. For the first time ever, you can run the Drone Deploy application directly on the smart controller that comes with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. I know a lot of you have either have drones on order or are looking to purchase drones. Uh, so right when you get your hands on your drone, uh, definitely reach out because we'd love to hear your feedback on uh, the on our experience with our beta program and our app. Um, so definitely, uh, I, there's a lot of materials out there. There's an FAQs video we shot with Grant. Uh, and there's a lot other, a lot more other resources. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely let us know if you have a Mavic 3 Enterprise you'd like to test out with Drone Deploy. Love it. All great stuff. Uh, tons of really good content out there. I'm sure many of you all are excited about the Mavic 3 Enterprise. That is super exciting. Olivia, we're going to kick it over to you to talk through all things ground capture. Yeah, it's been a busy couple of months for a uh, walkthrough and ground capture at Drone Deploy. Uh, I'll start off with our BIM Compare feature. We're moving out of beta with this now, so this is more widely available. Uh, and for those of you who are catching up, this is the first time you're able to bring your BIM files directly into Drone Deploy and view them alongside your 360 captured data um, for doing installation validation or stakeholder coordination. So pretty pumped to have that more widely available and to get more of our customers up and running with it. We've also made improvements to our walkthrough app. So if you scroll down a bit, we've made the capture process much more efficient when you're conducting site walks and at the same time trying to use mobile photos to document existing conditions or issues. So you can now take these photos during your walk without pausing. Uh, and we've had customers say this cuts data capture time in half. So definitely try that out if you're using the walkthrough app. Uh, we've also would like to highlight that we've um, moved forward with an integration with our partners at Abir. This is in closed beta now, so you'll hear more about this later when it becomes more widely available. But it will basically be a, a nice smooth path to bring your drone deploy data into Abir for progress tracking and analysis. And last but certainly not least, uh, we had a really big announcement last week and that drone deploy has acquired Struction Site. Uh, we're all really excited about that, uh, bringing the best of both worlds, both from a team and technology standpoint together uh, to unify ground and aerial data. So stay tuned and please, if you are interested in learning more about our integration plans, uh, Mike Wynn, Drone Deploy CEO, and Matt Daly, uh, one of Struction Site's co-founders, will be hosting a webinar sharing more about our integration plans and direction uh, with that acquisition. Love it. Super exciting stuff. You are certainly right, last but not least. Uh, really exciting. Thanks, Olivia. We're going to move down to Andre. Let's tell us about the smart uploader. Patent pending, too. Big time here. This is uh, really exciting stuff. Yeah, the patent pending is because it's one and only. We call it one and only smart uploader in the <laughs> industry, actually. Um, the reason why we've created the smart uploader is because uh, we've realized that people are spending a huge amount of time on uploading the data to drone deploy. And uh, obviously we cannot fix the internet connection because that's a major bottleneck for most of our users. But what we can do is we can do the whole process smarter and more efficient. And that's, that's actually what we did. Uh, we, with Smart Uploader, you can basically drag and drop everything that you have on your drone SD card into the Smart Uploader. And it's going to sort it out automatically. And give you time on counting the files and looking when the file has been captured in order to upload them individually. So this October, uh, we've added the ground control points workflow into the Smart Uploader. 
which is working really nice now. Uh, you see that on that uh, nice Giphy. Uh, and basically, there is no point in going into the legacy uploader anymore. You can do everything or upload all the data and create the high accuracy maps from the smart uploader now. So go ahead and try it out. Super exciting stuff. Uh, we've heard people talk about the uh, time saved and using the smart uploader is quite absurd. Uh, really, really exciting and fascinating to hear. I know uh, your team, Andre, has put a ton of work into making this uh, a really great tool. So thanks for sharing that. Last but not least, we're going to move down to Hunter to talk about all things uh, Earthworks and the contour side of it. Hunter, tell us what's going on. Hey, thanks, Grant. Yeah, for all the uh, general contractors and, and surveyors and mining operators out there, hopefully this is really exciting news to finally bring uh, contours into the drone deploy platform. We've allowed our users to export contours for a long time, but now you can see them instantly um, and accurately over the 3D model. Um, so it's been really cool to hear feedback from customers already about how this has solved um, disputes on site really quickly um, and saving time from exporting this data into other apps and adding labels. Um, just switch to the 3D model, turn on contours, uh, set your intervals to what you expect. Uh, you can customize those to match your design documents, and you can even turn on um, the elevation heat map in 3D as well, uh, which is a really powerful way to visualize your site um, and get to those insights just much quicker. Uh, supports uh, <clears throat> visualizing your annotations on top of contours as well. Um, and so this should bring like a lot of time savings to our users on job sites um, across the world. Love it. Super exciting stuff. Last but not least is our friend Andy, who uh, isn't on with us, but a lot of exciting stuff on the ground robotics side of life. Um, if you are interested in this, be sure to check out the blog post, which we're showing right here. But there's just some really exciting things that they're doing with uh, some oil and gas facility inspections. Uh, that I'm sure many of you uh, will be interested in, in that coming into different industries as well. So super exciting stuff. Team, really appreciate your guys' time uh, to hop in with us. If you have more questions about uh, some of these exciting releases that are coming out, be sure to check out the blog post and other videos that we will be posting soon. Team, thanks for joining in, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks. Thanks, Grant.